Hello YouTube, it is from Rick Jones, and this may be day 14, 15, 16, or 17 of Vlog Every Day in May about DNA. I'm seriously thinking of changing spots because this lighting is atrocious. But today, I'm going to show you how to make a super cool DNA model out of Lego. Let's get started! I don't like my haircut. It makes me look juvenile. You know who I think I look like? I hate my life sometimes. Alright, so let's start with this uh, DNA thing. So what you want to get is a base, obviously, and two of these, because it'll make it look pretty. Two of these things with the, with the holes in them. And here's the twist. A friggin' bamboo skewer, because, because pros build with bamboo skewers. So, but these, what these are going to do is raise the bases off the base so it looks sexier pretty much. I'm going to take two of these, put those together, put that in the middle and take your bamboo skewer and stick it right in the middle. Next we're going to talk about how to build the bases. It really doesn't matter what colors you use as long as you use four colors and two of the colors are matched up and the other two are matched up if that made any sense at all. God, I can't even remember how to do this. Put them together. And then you're gonna take this one. This one has to have, like, the holes in it. So you can stick the skewers through. So that kinda goes like that. Focus jet. Nah, you're not gonna do this for me. So you have that, and then this one is just gonna be, like, for stability. So you put that on the bottom. And then you just do that a bunch of times with all the different colors and stuff. And then you have the paired nitrogenous bases. Let's go back to our base. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. So our base, now we want to get two, two gray, two by two bricks, put them together, and where's the other one? Crap. You want to get two of those and put them there, because that is what the base is going to rest on. Well, I mean, the, the, the base pairs. That's what the base pairs are going to rest on. So you get something like that. But wait, there's more. But you're probably wondering, like, how the hell do you make it twist? Well, this is going to be used for the phosphate sugar backbone. It's just three 2 by one bricks stacked together. And you're going to put that on one. And then you're going to take another. And you're going to put that on the opposite one. So you seen that? That one's on that one, that one's on the other one. Is that gonna be... Yeah. And make sure it's right-handed because, you know. Build a bunch of bases and build a bunch of those things. So then you just gotta put them all in the skewer and put them together. This is where it gets a little tricky because you gotta kinda go like that. Yeah, you seen that? You seen that? Yeah. seem to be missing uh, one of these. This is oh, cool. Found it. I'm sitting on it the whole time. And that is it. That is how you build your own Lego DNA model. I hope that tutorial was actually worth something because it felt pretty sh- <laughs> It didn't break. I will see you guys tomorrow when I'm in Montreal. I hate this haircut. Oh my god.